Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Happy Monday. I am sitting here because I just got a back home from work and I hurry up and scarf down my dinner. I had a baked potato and I had to stop by Chick-fil-A to get a bag of ice and I got nuggets. This is supposed to be a no spin week, but honestly, the money that I spent, I had like a box of coins and I redeemed all those coins. They had like 20 bucks. And then I had like $5 in cash left. So I kind of feel like, did does that even count as money? I don't know. I don't know how the no spend is gonna go. It probably won't last. Like, I don't have anything to buy. But last week, or maybe the week before, I had bought these three Funko Pops and they just came in today, but they're the Hello Kitty 50th anniversary Funko Pops. I think there were four four different Funko Pops. Two of them had like different color variations and exclusive in other places, but I just got the three that were on Amazon and I want to show you guys them because I haven't seen them yet because they're all still boxed up. So I'm going to open them up together so we can look at them. Oh, I don't know what I planned for this vlog this week. I feel like this since it is February, I was planning on making this like each vlog is gonna have like something Valentine's Day related. So I feel like at some point in this vlog, I'm gonna do my nails. Um, I plan on for another vlog, taking myself out on a date. So like just treating myself that day. And then another one where I bought all this like heart shaped baking things. And I was gonna try to make one of those cute heart shaped cakes that are on Instagram or like Pinterest. But I'm no expert and I've never made a heart-shaped cake. I've never done like fancy icing, but I want to try it. But okay, first Funko Pop. This one honestly is my favorite. Do you see? She's so cute, like. Oh my God, usually I don't take my Funko Pops out of the box at all. I don't think I've opened any of my Funko Pops. Is, I can't tell, is her head just silver or is it see? Her head is see-through. Do you see my hand? Through? She's transparent. Is it translucent? Transparent, translucent, do they mean the same thing? But, Oh my God, she's so cute. Oh, oh my God, I'm putting her back in the box. Also, why do they always say there's supposed to be like a free stand at the bottom of the container so you can like stand your Funko Pop up? This is my first time opening up one and I can confirm uh, there's no stand in here. So I'm like looking around, making sure I didn't drop it anywhere, but yeah, there's no stand. She's so cute. She's going right back in the box. Oh my gosh. And I'm excited because I feel like the Hello Kitty Funko Pops, like any Hello, any Funko Pop, they're like reasonably priced when they first come out. And then you go back and check a couple months later and they're just like totally overpriced. So I'm happy I got that one. And now this one is another one. This one, the more I look at it, the more I'm like, it's cute, but it's not my favorite. Like that one over there is my favorite. Ooh, this one. This one, she's like hopping out of a birthday cake. I'm trying to open this up without like tearing off the box. This one also has the transparent like head and she's just winking. She's got the cake icing on the top of her head. She's got the 50th anniversary. Oh, 
she supposed to do that? Oh my god, what is this black on my hands? Like, I think that was from me um, wiping my hand on that box. But, so cute! I'm worried about her head swiveling around like that. Like, I don't know if she's supposed to do that. It doesn't say, but... So cute. Putting her back in. I have one more. I think these I'm gonna keep in the box. Like some Funko Pops are just too special to open up. I did buy like a couple, like a couple months ago, I bought two Little Mermaid Funko Pops and those I did buy with intentions on taking out of the box. But my other Funko Pops, like I'm gonna have to look at them and decide if I wanna open them. Like, I don't know, man. It's just something about leave them in the box so they stay nice and I just don't trust my cats to not knock one over and then chew on it because that's what Pia does. Pia loves to chew on stuff. She's chewing on stuff right now. All right, now this last one. Very excited about this one. Okay, hold on. It's obviously in a bigger box. another 50th anniversary but she's huge she's huge don't you love her oh my gosh so this was the all three so it's the two little small ones and then this big one for sure staying in the box like I'm gonna have to find somewhere perfect. Like we're gonna have to make, just make it like a Hello Kitty altar so we can worship at this thing. She's so cute. She is very simple. It's just standard little Hello Kitty with her red bow and her little blue outfit, but she's humongous. I don't have very many like large Funko Pops. I think I have one, but I think it's a Joker. Hold on, let's go look. I know I have one more big Funko Pop, but I couldn't tell you what it is. I think it's the Joker. Like it's either the Joker or Batman, but it's in the closet. Who is that? I think I think that's the Joker. Hold on, let me try to pull it out. Ugh. Can you see it up there? It's another big one. I believe that is the Jack Nicholson Joker. one of my favorite jokers so those are my two big funkos but the batman ones i keep in the closet because they're okay the only batman one i keep out on display is my batman gamer because it matches the hello kitty gamer one and I think this one, when I got it, it was overpriced. It's probably crazy overpriced now. But, yep. And then here are my Little Mermaid ones that I plan on opening. Maybe. Oh, look at Pia. <laughs> I took her collar off because she was chewing on it. And I was scared she was going to get stuck chewing on it. And she couldn't get her mouth out. But... Yeah, look at her. No type of separation from like head to shoulders. She's just like one shape all the way down. <laughs> I plan on ordering her a new collar, like a snap away one, because I was just worried because I saw her chewing on her collar and her bottom jaw was getting hooked in her collar so she'd be stuck with her collar in her mouth and her jaw just in the collar. And I saw her do it twice. And then I had to keep saving her. And then yesterday or the other day when I saw she was chewing on her collar again, I was like, you know what? I don't know if you're going to do that while I'm not at home and I won't be able to save you. So 
I'm just gonna get her a cute little snap away collar so I don't have to worry about it. She's gone through three collars since I've gotten her and Ramsey is still wearing the collar that I originally bought him when he was a baby. But he's got a nice long neck. Like he doesn't try to chew on stuff. Like he's, he rather steal and be up on my counter and do that kind of stuff. But he isn't like chewing stuff. <sighs> what was I say? Oh, I was doing some craft stuff. I wanted to show you guys the mock-up because I plan on redoing my gaming setup again because I feel like I just want to be able to use that room. And I feel like right now it's just not comfortable or cozy enough to fully just hang out in there, turn on my computer and play my game. So I'll show you what I'm working on. P is in there chewing on something right now. Look at this. So this is basically what my gaming room looks like now. That's my chair. That's my monitor. That's my lights. Like, do you see? I want to get a new table. And this is a table that I saw on Amazon where it has like the L shape, but there is a shelf on the side so I can like line up my Funkos, my game controller. Um, this is a new tower or a new PC case. I want to get for my PC so I plan on getting a new PC case and moving all the guts into a new one and then I bought these shelves to line up above the PC setup so I can put like decor or whatever I want up there that's my Xbox that's my switch that's my keyboard my mouse like it's my setup but I'm trying to like do little it's a little like the proportions are way off like I didn't sit here and measure to see what size everything is but I just figured I don't know just to give me an idea of what I want to do with my desk and I just feel like this is the plan so far I'm waiting for the desk I want to go on sale because it's a hundred dollars and I feel like in this economy a hundred dollars is like ten dollars at this point but if I can get it for less than a hundred, then I feel like I'm going to, I'm going to get it. So I'm, I have it on my list and I'm just waiting for Amazon to alert me that it's cheaper so I can go ahead and buy it and then go from there. But I'm waiting it out. Uh, what else is I going to say? I feel like that's it. I've been sitting here rambling for about 13 minutes. Um, I also washed my hair. I washed it yesterday and I did a little experiment. So I, last two times I washed my hair, I used my, I used a different shampoo just to see if I could tell the difference between the slightly cheaper shampoo versus the, the way one that I was like praising that I just bought. I went back to way yesterday and honestly, it's like way better. Like, <laughs> It isn't like a, it, it, I don't know, like it's not a huge difference, but the difference is enough to make me feel like, yeah, I need to keep on buying that whey shampoo. I'll show you the other shampoo that I was using because it's good too. And the girl with the really pretty long hair on, the girl with the really pretty long hair on TikTok, this is down here. She was using this shampoo. And I just got this from Ulta. And I'm pretty sure it was like under $10, I believe. But she was using this shampoo. And this conditioner. And then another girl <clears throat> was using that same conditioner, but she was using this shampoo. So I went ahead and bought all of them. And honestly, they both work good, but I can feel how light and clean my hair feels after this one, but both work fine. So I figured I'm gonna start using the Wave one like maybe once, twice a month, and then any other time use this one. <sighs> all right. I'm gonna hop in the shower and then relax and then I'll be back. Uh, 
at Popeye's. I should have turned my camera on a while ago, but I'm here now. Hi, can I get the um, the sandwich combo, the the chicken sandwich combo? What chicken sandwich combo? Yes. Classic. Classic. With no side item or drink. Um, can I do fries and the drink a Hawaiian punch? Uh, so I got a classic fries Hawaiian punch. Yes. And then can I get uh, the ranch, a side of ranch and ketchup? Ketchup? Yes. Anything else? No, that's all. That's gonna be 998. Alright, thank you. He was nice. Ugh. It's kinda hard to do this with one hand, so be right back. Back home. This no spin week is more of like a low budget week because I did finally spend the rest of my cash. I spent five of it at Meyer buying these two things. I'll show you. Cannot wait to make this with some strawberries and vanilla ice cream. It's gonna be so good. And then I got the, the brownie one too. So I got $5 on that and $10 on dinner. So I got a chicken sandwich with fries and a drink. The original idea was to get a large drink and just the sandwich. And then I was kind of sitting there and I was like, well, maybe I should get fries too. So that's how I ended up with fries. We'll see what I else I end up doing because I do have that pot pie that I plan on eating for tomorrow. But then I also have enough points in my Chipotle app for a free bowl. So I'll probably end up redeeming that. And then I feel like that's pretty good no spend. That would be a total, I think I've spent less than $30 this week which is pretty good i even went to home goods today just trying to find a um a hello kitty blanket didn't buy anything i picked some stuff up and then i kept walking around and i put it down so yay me Hawaiian punch. Everything else looks so good. I need some hair clips. Just put it behind my ear. Totally makes up for those wings. I'm having a late breakfast. It's 12:26. I woke up early, but I was working on my Valentine's Day nails and they took so much time because each nail is a different design and I had to use my brain power. This hand isn't done. I was going to do it on camera for part of the Valentine's Day theme, but I don't know if I'm going to record that today or later on tonight or what. 
has to be soon because today is Saturday for me and I have to at least start editing this video like tomorrow, which would be Sunday, so it could be up Monday. So either later on tonight or tomorrow morning, I'm going to knock out the other hand. But for right now, I wanna make myself some breakfast. I'm just gonna make cream of wheat and I have a, I'm gonna have cream of wheat, a coffee, and I have blueberry muffins from when I made those last time. Just was thinking about it. Tomorrow is, I think the Super Bowl. I think tomorrow is supposed to be the Super Bowl. So I was just thinking like, do I wanna get like some game day foods? Cause I still have like, I have potatoes, I have cheese, I have sour cream. Like I can make myself another baked potato. But I don't know, we'll see how I feel. I do have wings too. I can make myself some wings. That would be a different vlog. I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> All right, I got my milk and my water. Gonna add a little salt. Oop. I'm washing clothes, so that was the timer to go put my clothes in the dryer. A little bit of brown sugar. Ooh, ooh, ew, there's like hair probably my hair for sure my hair <laughs> hopefully that wasn't too much sugar it's always hard to tell but brown sugar is so dramatic you could put like the tiniest bit and it's gonna make everything look so dark like why so dramatic my coffee maker is going and being loud as usual, but making my cream of wheat. I had a false alarm with the, the clothes being done. Since the washers don't have a timer, I never know like how long they actually take. So I set the timer for I think like 30 minutes or 35 minutes and it still wasn't done. So I'm making my food and I'll go back there and check on it in a second. All right, putting the cream of wheat on low. Go look at my clothes. Got my coffee too. It's caramel and macadamia nut syrup. And then I have vanilla oat milk that I've been buying for my coffee specifically and honestly I can't really taste the difference I'm gonna try a different brand to see if maybe another brand is gonna have more vanilla because this one's Chobani I think next time I'm gonna try Oatly I think it's Oatly I don't remember maybe I should try the silk vanilla one I don't know silk is the normal oat milk that I buy so maybe I should give that a try, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna do a grocery pickup order, I think on Tuesday, when I get off work. Grab my groceries and then come on home. Ice just fell and it hit my toe and it did kind of hurt. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Not too sweet. Sweet enough. I like that. cream of wheat here I like my cream of wheat thick because I like to add a little milk to it to loosen it up but I like it thick initially this is very brown <laughs> it is kind of sweet but I feel like once I add milk to it it won't be as sweet but it's kind of sweet <laughs> Oh, I forgot to add butter. Gotta have butter. Oh, I 
forgot. Hold on. I want to put this in my coffee because I do want to use this up. But Pia always thinks this is whipped cream. So every time I pull it out and she sees it, she like loses her mind. So. Oh, she saw it. Hold on. So when I have my coffee and I use that, I have to give her a little, little bit of ready whip. Come on, come on. She just gets a little bit because they also get treats and things throughout the day. Give Ramsey something now. You want a treat too, bud? Get a little freeze dry fish. <sighs> All right. Mix in my butter and I'm gonna go downstairs and put my clothes in the dryer and then I'm gonna sit down for a little bit. The cream always looks so good on the top. Why is there no iced coffee emoji? I have to go back and look, but I don't think I've seen like an iced coffee one and that's so weird because iced coffee is so relevant. Why is there no iced coffee, like a cute iced coffee emoji? Uh, yeah, clothes in the dryer, be right back. Gaming chair is back in the living room because I was playing Alan Wake on the couch for a little bit, but I feel like I'm more at alert if I'm sitting up in the chair and that game gets a little crazy. I gotta shoot people, gotta hit them with the flashlight. It's too much going on, I just sit up. I got my breakfast all laid out. Got my iPad here. I'm probably going to just eat my breakfast, watch a little YouTube, and then when I get done, play a little Alan Wake. I have to set the timer for the dryer. That one is for sure 45 minutes. Got my hand out so we can finish my nails. This hand's looking all cute. And now we're gonna do this one. I'm gonna do one nail at a time. I think I'm gonna start with the thumb and then go from there. I don't know which nail I'm gonna recreate on this finger. I think I'm gonna do this one with the candies because then I can fit more candies and things on it. What is on this nail? You can't see everything, but I feel like you can see enough, hopefully. Maybe in editing, I'll just zoom in a little bit. Um, I just had a coffee and I probably should not have because I feel like my hands are gonna be shaking. I'm not really doing an ombre here. I just wanna have a little pink accent in the center. It's really not that visible. And a little glitter. I'm gonna do this bow one next, and I'm gonna put it on this finger. I have a bunch of stickers. I'm gonna do it, I'm doing this nail, but I'm gonna do it a little differently because, can you focus please? This nail, I did the bow, and then you can see like some stickers in between there, but I wanna cover as much space as possible with stickers and then put the bow on top of it, just so there's more interesting things going on behind the bow. Um, I only did two layers of glitter. I think I might actually do one more layer of the glitter polish just to make it a little darker. This glitter is chunky. Okay, there we go so far. And... And then the bow is gonna go right here in the center, 
but because the bow is like straight across, I have to bend it a little bit. And if it breaks, like this one broke, but it's better because then I was able to lay it down at a at an edge. Ugh. It's not bending. Okay. So it is snapped now and it will now lay better on the nail. Let me put my polish down. Looks so good. All right, the, the bow is on, but there are gaps like on the sides and underneath. And I'm just gonna take my gel polish and just fill it in. So there's just like no space between the bow and the my nail. That way my hair isn't getting underneath there. So we're gonna completely fill those gaps. I hope this footage can be seen. I'm gonna try to zoom in because I Pretty sure I'm pretty far away, but the flashing battery is stressing me out. We're going pinky, and I think I'm gonna recreate this nail. I think we're gonna redo this nail. All right, we're gonna use this soft pink, and we're imitating, or we're redoing this nail on the pinky. Thinking about it, because then one of these nails, it's gonna get these two designs, which would look good. Okay, yes, that's fine. Hand is shaking a little bit. Ooh. A little glitter. I feel like having the glitter in the background just adds just an extra bit of funness to the nail. I'm still doing my nails, but I needed a break for a second because one, I'm hot and sweating. Two, my hands are shaking and three, I'm hungry. So to do my last two nails, I'll do them in a second, but so far, so good. Ignore this nail. Every time my nails are like yellow, I always think like, oh my God, fungus. And then as they grow out, I'm like, oh, they're just stained. So, and then sometimes they're bruised. Like there's been many instances where I will smash my finger and they'll just be bruised underneath there. But yeah, they're coming together so nicely. These might be my favorite sets. I think it's from like watching all those trendy nail videos on TikTok or seeing the pictures on Instagram. And these are more of those style of nails. I feel like everybody's nails has little bows on them right now. It's so cute. I've always been a bow girl, but now they're everywhere and I love it. So I'll do these other two nails in a second. I'm about to make my dinner. It's not gonna be interesting dinner. I'm literally about to make a pot pie and over rice, cream cheese rice. So I was just trying to decide, do I wanna take a shower first and then eat and then do my nails or do I wanna, I think shower first. Shower, then food, then nails, and then play my game for the rest of the night, I think is the plan. So let's start that. Also, hold on, let me unplug all my nail stuff. I washed clothes and the clothes are just sitting on the floor over there. I need to uh, pick them up. I just don't feel like it. I love being able to do my own nails and do like all these cute little designs and spend no money paying someone to do them. 
because I hate giving people money for things. Like, I don't mind paying, like, things that I can keep. I don't mind spending money on those things. But things that I have to do several times a month because they're temporary, like... I don't want to spend money on that. The only temporary thing I, I don't mind spending money on is like food. Other than that, I'm just like, I could do that at home myself. That's why I don't pay to get my hair done, uh, my eyebrows, my nails. I would like to get my lashes done one time, but I feel like that's one of those things that once you start getting them done, you have to keep getting them done because you'll get addicted to them. So I don't even want to start unless I can figure out how to do them myself at home without giving myself an eye infection. So maybe I'll look into that. But so far, loving my Valentine's Day nails. <sighs> All right. Oh, Pia, you got like two hours for dinner. Yeah. It's not time yet, leave me alone. She just followed me back here to yell at me some more. <laughs> Um, all right, I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm gonna put my hair back. Well, I'm gonna put my hair in a bun and then a shower cap, and then I'll be back. Relax. I put this sorry, stepping on a cat. I put this scarf on because I feel like my edges got a little wet when I was in the shower because my shower cap is so small. And I just washed my hair last week and I need my hair to last another week because I'm not trying to be in here washing my hair that often. But I'm gonna get, uh, look how disgusting my oven mitts are. But I'm getting my, my pot pie out of the oven. I have to move all my spike mats because I don't wanna burn them. I need them to keep my cats out of my business. This has been in here for like an hour so far. And we're just gonna check on it. It's looking nice. The center is still very doughy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in. Like it still needs a little bit more time. It's getting there, but not quite. It's still very cold in the middle. Got my rice out. Gonna add a little bit of cream cheese to it just to make it a little bit more fun tasting. Oof. Love cream cheese rice. I also added a little bit of salt and garlic powder into the, the water when I put it in the, the cooker. So scared that's gonna be hot. All right, Let's see if we can get this crust, this pie out of here without making a soupy mess. I am worried. <laughs> Maybe the ladle. Bottom crust is my favorite part of a pot pie. That went great, actually. And now I have dinner for today. And tomorrow or Monday, depending on how I feel. I kind of feel like I should eat something special tomorrow in honor of the game but I don't know we'll see how I feel when I wake up tomorrow maybe I'll be craving something but if not I'll just eat what I have at home that's so good <laughs> I'm gonna start buying pot pies more often 
I just took my wrap scarf off just so I can film the outro for this video, but best believe I will be putting it back on right after this. Oh, I finished my nails. I just, I did them off camera. Sorry, this is supposed to be like a Valentine's Day nail, but I just, I just wanted to knock it out and be done with it and listen to my book while I did it. I also had my breakfast. I had cream of wheat and a blueberry muffin like I did yesterday. And I still got my coffee, super full. And today's supposed to be the Super Bowl. I am guessing, like I'm hoping Justin Bieber, like I'm hoping that Usher brings people out. Like I'm pretty hopeful that it's gonna be Justin Bieber. Um, I heard somebody say it was gonna be Alicia Keys. I would like to see maybe Ludacris or Little John. But I feel like my main people, like I want to see Justin Bieber up there with Usher doing stuff. Um, I wrap my hair kind of weird, but it's okay because I'm going to moisturize it, put my scarf back on. Here are the finished nails. I think they are so beautiful. These might be my favorite nails of the year. They look so good. I love them and hopefully the bows on here stay on. I mean, I put a lot of gel like polish on them to keep them on. I think they are so beautiful. I love them so much. Each nail is unique and different, but yeah, I'm full. I'm about to edit this video. And then I have one more episode left of Alan Wake. So I'm gonna finish that noise so i was gonna finish that and then i have bramble i think it's called bramble king of the mountain something like that i have that game and then i bought um the devil in me but i'm saving that for um whenever i start streaming again i'm gonna make myself a goal and i'm gonna stick to it for the streaming i just need to Set, sit myself down and have like a discussion and set this goal and stick to it um, and then what else do I have there was a Sherlock Holmes game I bought that too yeah uh, yeah that's the end of the vlog if you made it this far leave a let's do a pink heart emoji or your favorite color heart emoji leave whatever heart emoji you like leave that and i think the next vlog is going to be me taking myself out on a date for valentine's day i think that's the idea and we'll go from there because i even took off work for that the day after valentine's day so that i have time to like vlog that day but okay i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching bye